All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structures, intermediate algorithm scripting, diff two arrays. All right. So now we're going to compare two arrays and return a new array with any items only found in one of the two given arrays, but not both. All right. Uh, in other words, we should have used the other words first or just we should have just done this in the first place. Return the symmetric difference between the two arrays. That's not even good. What we're going to do is find the number that is different than, you know, I don't even know if I can say <laughs> We're going to find this four because all the others are the same. We're going to find the non-repeating number. Uh, so, no, we can return the array with its elements in any order. All right. So, for this one, we're going to, we are actually going to do the, uh, what is it? What is it? The functional programming. Uh, unlike the last one, which was I did a little trick on you guys. Uh, on this one, we're definitely going to uh, do the filter method and the includes method. All right. So let's get rid of this stuff right here because we're not going to use this at the moment. We'll, we'll use the new R, but we're not going to use this new R right now. So let's get rid of it. And instead of that, what we're going to do is we're going to start off by using the filter method to filter whatever's different in this one out of this one in the same for uh, vice versa. And also, I don't like this one. So let's do this one instead since it's got two and they've got a different one in each one of them so let's get this one and put this here and let's get this one and put this here all right so a little better example in my opinion all right so we've got funct diff array r1 and r2 right so what we're going to do first is we're going to filter out whatever is different in this one from this one, right? So we'll say, ah, uh, let r1 filter equal r1 dot filter. And what we're gonna filter out is we're gonna start with the element and we're going to filter out whatever's different from there. And we're gonna use the includes method on this, right? And we, we uh, talked about includes a long time ago, so I'll just bring it up just in case includes method JavaScript, boom. Uh, so the includes method of array instances determines whether an array, pardon me, includes a certain value among its entries, returning true or false as appropriate, right? So what we wanna do for this uh, function right here is we're gonna say uh, r2 dot includes, and then what we wanna do here is say, uh, dot includes, and let's say, what are we gonna say? Element, element, like that, right? And let's do a console.log on that one. Console.log, console.log, r1 filter, right? And you can say, see it put everything that is the same that's included in there. So we don't want to actually do the included thing, we want to do the what's not included. So we'll just put the not operator in front of it. And you can see pink wool is what's different from here than here, right? So now what we're gonna do is the pretty much the exact same thing for the second one, right? So let's, why do we got, what is this? Okay, we, got, we better keep that. Oh, it's for this thing, all right. So let's do this exact same thing for the second one. Let's uh, copy this, come down here and paste it. And let's change these ones to twos and these twos to ones. So let's change that to a two, two, and let's change this to one. And let's change this to two. And you can see Dorito, do, deal right, is uh, what's different there, right? So now we've got two different arrays, two different filtered arrays. We got one and we've got two, right? So let's concatenate those two together, all right? Let's say uh, something like this, let, what it was it? New array, new R, new R equal R1 filter dot concat R2 filter, all right? And let's uh, see what new R looks like. All right, new R, pink wool, deal right. 
Diorite. Anyway, whatever. Uh, and so that works. We've got these two things in there, and that's what we wanted was the array of the two uh, of whatever it was different. So now let's say something like this, return new R. Let's get rid of this console.log to clean it up a little bit. And let's wrap this thing up, pardon me, wrap this thing up in parentheses just to check, even though we already know console.log. Because look, we're getting paid hourly if we're doing this stuff, right? No, I don't know. Anyway, uh, so we checked it, double checked it. Looks good. Run the test. Looks good twice and submit it. All right. Now we're on to seek and destroy. And we'll see you next time.